it'd be probably pretty good if I build a redundant system to actually be redundant. That would be probably the better thing to do. I do like that I've, you know, I've maintained a pretty strong shape here. Also, the stairs help, you know. Maybe if the stairs were a little more middle, it might uh, help sell the shape a little bit more. But it's, it's not bad. It's still pretty strong shape, you know? <laughs> well, hello, hello. And welcome to episode 20 of the Lords of the Helix Mountain. Um, if you hadn't already known, uh, there was an update that happened to Timberborn in the experimental branch where they added the Thousand Island map into uh they they tweaked it they made some changes to it uh they also changed how uh bad water will contaminate ground it's kind of based off of its uh percentage of contamination is how it'll affect the uh the ground a couple of balance changes in terms of how uh the bad tides will start hitting depending on the difficulty that you're setting either seven days five days or three days depending on the mode that you're in um and then there are a couple of other miscellaneous changes. Uh, but yeah, pretty straightforward update. Yeah, nothing uh, nothing too crazy, but it definitely does make me... I know I wanted to do... The next series I wanted to do was a uh, hard mode uh, small map with folktales. What I actually might do or what I thought of doing was doing like a uh, race to bots i wanted to do a race to bots uh run potentially i can do that on the new thousand islands because it's a brand new map uh, a brand new map at least to experimental and to bad water so potentially i could just do it would probably be a fairly quick series of just getting to bots and just trying to get to bots as quickly as possible but yeah, I think I might do that. I might actually wrap up this uh, series in this episode, in episode 20. And some of the things that I can do or thought of doing in between um, sessions is just kind of start loading up on my metal by making huge kind of supplies for metal or uh, storage uh, areas for metal. So let me do that. Can't be iron lords if I don't have excessive amounts of iron. So just kind of, you know, trying to hit theme. If I go over here to while I'm at it, they don't have logs. Oh, am I getting? Yeah, I am getting logs moved in. So I have two iron bots, one here. I probably could put, probably could ask for a couple of more. A couple more bots just so i have a little bit more in my uh in my district crossing to help kind of bring supplies over let me get the log storage up and let me get the uh the area where they're gonna offload the metal let me actually probably put another little pile for logs down cool and then it's gonna be waiting for this to get done i might have to get Get to cracking on blowing this thing apart. Hmm. I'm gonna need to make like a probably like a temporary path that goes over so that I can uh create this wall here. And then I think they're mostly done up here. Okay. Blowing that up. Let me get, these are three charges. Cool. This is gonna be its own little uh, storage for water. I think I, yeah, it's fine. I'll put some levees kind of in here. Might as well, while I can, put the levees in now along that edge and then two along there. And then I'm gonna put the too high floodgate right here and I can mark that okay cool they have stuff that they're working on these guys are constantly working on stuff and still has a bunch of food in it even though I'm, I asked them not to get any food in here oh 
I need to get rid of all this other food. Can't have any food. Don't want any food. Don't want any water. No resources. That's good. Or no, like, raw resources. My bots do not need to eat nothing. Although I could get them some grease. What's my grease look like? I have some excess grease. So let me get a little... Eh, just a small tank. I'll get a small tank of grease. For my mining town, uh... My mining town, uh, bots. Let me... Get the alternate pathway over here. Oh yeah, there was something else I saw. Oh yeah, cause that is... Connected right there. Come on. There's something else that I saw uh, while I was editing. Maybe it was this. But I wanted to have another little walkway so they don't have to necessarily come from under the ground in order to get up to here. But just have a walkway from here that they get up to these supplies. Okay. While I'm at it, they're building that. These... This beavers are doing this stuff. How much further can I go? This is just four. So I can actually go one more down from where they are right there. And this is two. This is two at this level. This is one right there. Okay. And let's go two on this side. I need to get rid of this one. And then this is one. These would be one. Yeah, fantastic. This is getting up nice and full. Love that. Everything's built here. They're starting to make my iron. And let me get some more storage of iron. I can do like that. Put a little road up, get a little access across the roof. Potentially, I could do... I need to get one more up here. And I can get a little... Stair action up here. And get another... Storage place for more iron. For more metal. Just converting all that scrap over. Part of me also wonders if I should just do... Like, a landline. Just kind of bring this power out but just kind of like against the wall and just kind of bring it over no it'd make probably more sense if i connected it back over here i went you know over the dam kind of how i was planning kind of up over the dam connected through this little back area here they didn't get this well they're working on that or this guy is working on building that let me get this a little lower priority for that guy. He works on other stuff and not this stuff. Do I have regular plank storage? I don't think I do. Let me get a small pile for him. Does that entrance block? I can do there. Bring a little road up the side of the town center. And get some planks going. Let's kick that up. Little plank storage. Cool. Oh. Why are you guys not connected? Oh, well, I should probably connect all of the roads up. That'll probably do the trick of getting myself some more iron. Iron stores. See, just these two, this little four, four bunch has already gotten me to 6.4 thousand food storage. Most of that coming from my algae rations. So let me get another algae rations here. Just kind of like kicking up my numbers. It's more of the goal uh, with what I'm doing. And let me bridge up power here. This should be redundant. So not having this, yeah, all this is getting powered. Let me also get another couple of these little buildings. These. Let me get the another motivatorium. I wish that lined up a little better here. 
but I could do, let's see, I could do a couple, good lord, couple shrubs, couple lanterns, do some more shrubs along the edges. I'm going to need to get power up in order to get it to the, to these guys. Yeah, it's not going to be the prettiest back there. I can pause this and I can get power to come out and into... Oh god, not that. Into this guy. And then back here, I could do the same thing. I can just add a little bit of... You know, put a... Put a lantern. A lantern. Get a couple shrubs back here. Where do I want to put a bell? Sure, put a little bell here. Around the, uh... No. That doesn't really work for me. Let me see. Could I put one here? How does this one look? Sure, just a weird little bell next to the coffee. The cafe. Okay. Plank storage is good. This little robot is working his butt off. These robots are moving goods. Kaurabe. Kaurabe, are you? No, I told you not. I told you not to put anything in here. And then I have the four guys that are working here. Let's make that five. Cool. Should still have plenty, plenty of robo workers. And I have plenty of living workers what's the population like over here still have five unemployed beavers kind of way more than i really would want in this area so i'm going to lower that just a little bit more drought is approaching what is this Ooh, i've got this almost almost filled up now they're laying in some dynamite over here what is my dynamite count I have 83 dynamite. What's my extract? Extract is probably pretty low too. This is canola oil. This is extract. So I might have to do what I probably should have done a while ago and get myself another uh, bad water pumper. Where are you? My bad water pumping guy. There you are. Get that going. Let's kick that up. So I get more bad water and probably need to get another extractor up. There you go. Another guy doing that. This is going to be bot workforce. No good selected. Where is that? Oh, you need to be metal. Yeah, that's metal. Cool. I already have 84. So in the colony, I have 846 iron blocks in the overall colony. What are these guys up to? Oh, they're putting together the levees. And they're eventually going to get to these dynamite. But I need to get more dynamite together. That was the other thing. I was going to get another explosive factory so I can get more dynamite built. Is this not up yet? Oh. No. Yep. It'd be probably pretty good if I build a redundant system to actually be redundant. That would be probably the better thing to do. You know, just saying. It probably may be useful. Um, <laughs> if the actual, you know, thing that made it redundant was actually there, they'll get to that eventually. Hopefully. There we go. Oh no, that is my dynamite factory that was getting built. There we go. There's a redundant line in place. Just before this got built. This is still getting put together, I believe. Or not. Why is it taking them so long to get to... Oh, because they need to build... Doesn't matter if I put the building itself in a high priority if they don't build the underlying structure 
They gotta build the poles, the little stilts for this bad guy, this bad water pump, in order to get that going. Cool, 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 cool. This little secondary path is up and going. I'm going to get the levee up. There we go. To kind of close off this area. Too far. Detonate all of this. Yeah. Can't get all required materials. I need extract and I need bad water. The new bad water pumper is in. I wonder if I should... Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to switch all of these guys out with robo pumpers so they can kind of keep up with the demand or at least be pumping, you know, continuously. Uh, flooded buildings, breeding halted. Oh, it doesn't have extract. Another reason they have another centrifuge up and going is all of my breeding now takes extract. Come on, pumpers. I need you to get that bad water. Asking a lot of all of you. 800 metal. Consuming grease pretty well. Canola oil is pretty high. Yeah. Cool, cool. I might give myself a little bit of a time skip. Just to see where they end up and see how far they come along. Oh god. Another auto save. And I should be entering a drought? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna give them the, look at that, almost completely full. That's awesome. This nice little huge chunk of water reserve. <laughs> and then when this comes in, I'm also gonna need to, I'm gonna need to elevate this district. Just put it on a couple, put it on some stilts or something. I didn't really think about that, but yeah, it's gonna get flooded. Yeah, I'm going to put that on stilts. Cool. I'm going to give them the entire drought. And I will see you guys when we hit the temperate season. All right. Drought is almost over. Uh, I did a couple of things where I'm kind of like setting up my line to kind of connect into here because I ran out of power for these smelters. That means these bots are going to run out of juice too which isn't great. Let me see. Could I? Drought's ending, but I don't know how much or how quickly. Oh, I'll get a little juice. A little juice in the system. Get some of these guys charged up a little bit. It's not gonna be power for too long. Yeah, that was a quick little burst. Hmm. It's gonna take a minute before that water circles around. Let me see, could I get this kind of in anticipation of that? I might get a couple more, uh, a couple more batteries up here just so they can get some power relatively quickly. Oh God, man, my auto saves are really, really going. Yeah, they're going to be out of juice for a minute. The other couple things that I noticed, I had excess population in here where I had five unemployed. Now I have one unemployed beaver. So I turned off one of my advanced breeding pods. The other thing I noticed is that these weren't getting extract because I wasn't producing enough extract. So it could actually get like population crashes in my secondary uh, little towns. So I added a normal breeding pod just to kind of give me some population to be operating things in those towns. Uh, I did the same thing over here, just cause I'm not producing enough extract. And I put in another bad water pumper to get me bad water out of my little area, but this doesn't look like it's satisfying the demand. I still don't have excess bad water. I still have the two extra centrifuge guys doing their thing. Oh God, did that not, <sighs> I don't even know how I'm going to get into there without the, God, gosh, darn it. Okay, come on, build that. Then I have to put down all those friggin', all those friggin' uh, shrubs down again. Cool. More than likely, I'm gonna put these shrubs down and they're gonna build this in the wrong order. 
I'm just going to do it one at a time. They'll get to it. This dried out. Oh, more than likely because the level went down. Hmm. Okay. The water is still not made its way around yet. Looks like it's coming along. Filling up the dams with water. These guys should be getting some amount of power from this battery. And it'll last for a little bit. Just need to get the pumpers and the smelters going with that. Cool. Well, was, uh, I might actually need to get another bad water pumper up. Doesn't look like it's enough to do the job. So if I do another guy over here. Gosh, keep thinking I'm pressing F. I'm not pressing F. I'm pressing G. Okay, get in there. This is going to be another robot. Okay. Cat has been fed. Uh, let me blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. I wonder if I should... No, I can do it from this stairs. Blow that up. Blow it up. And is all this set to as far as they can reach? Yep, looks like, yeah, can't reach anything else. Blow up all of that. Cool. And I can set here. Get a charge there, and I can break up this. This is two depth charges here. Definitely fighting my own, you know, needs of extract. Okay, these guys are starting to get extract again. Hopefully I'm starting to build excess or I'm, you know, getting enough for everybody. What is... Uh, well, let me build that up before I start turning off the normal breeding pod. Oh yeah, I built this guy on stilts. Took it down, put it back on stilts, reconfigured the, the uh, trading uh, configuration. Uh, put these stairs up so I can blow this out to get the line, but I think I already explained that. This is providing power to my smeltery city. The water is finally... I think this is finally coming through. There we go. Start building up charge. At least a little bit, a little spurt of it. A little spurt of charge. Oh, water must have come through earlier. Because this is not at the absolute lowest level that it was. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. It's all looking good. Oh wait, I, I do have tons of extract. Cool. Got a bunch of extract going. All that is extra, so let me go ahead and turn off this breeding pod. I can turn off this breeding pod. I didn't set up another one in here. Yep, should be good. Okay, cool. These charges, I can blow that one and I can blow this one. Kind of want these to get get in before I blow that line. I might actually, so I don't have to be so careful with it, just get a way to get up to the top of here. This can soon get blown, torn out, but not quite yet. Um, yeah, I might give them another few days to go ahead and start building stuff and just, I'll continue monitoring them and make sure everything is going well. But I'll see you guys, let's say another... Let's say to the end of the cycle. Did that bell just ring? Is that what that noise was? Oh, yeah. Huh. It's kind of cool. Anyways, I will see you guys in, let's say, 10 days. Probably. We'll say when the new, when the new season gives me a warning. And I'll continue to blow out and uh, kind of reshape all this stuff. Cool. See you guys. All right, so we hit the call for the next season, showing you what the progress has been. I've definitely I've cut out inside the mountain or into the mountain. I've laid out the what will be the connection into this power or into this power line here. So I get a full loop from or, you know, quarter loop from here all the way to my battery tower and then back over to my power producing bad water tower what else did i do 
you know, continuing to lay out dynamite. My extract is back up. I've got 150, 160, so I'm not, not quite. I'm a little over demand, but not by like a substantial amount. Uh, I think I should be, oh, I had a little bit of bad water stored, but I think I'm like barely keeping up with my demand, but yeah. And if it feels, if it does feel like I'm kind of rushing through things in this particular episode, it is because I kind of am, you know, I have the, the itch in my mind to do, to go into the, the next series and I already have the idea for the next series. And I think I might have to just kind of leave Pinnacle to what Pinnacle is. I think it's going to be up to our imagination of what Pinnacle could have been. At least, you know, for now, maybe I'll come back to this, to this save and finish off Pinnacle. Uh, I think I might also do just, I might give myself another little time skip to when this gets finished, when my, my connection of my full power gets connected through. Oh yeah. And I don't think I explained this. I added more, uh, available storage for, uh, my, what looked like my prepared foods that were kind of maxing out in their food storage. So now I have what 12 K food just because of just making storage for them to put away the food. So yeah, I mean, I could keep going. I could keep going with that. could keep going with a lot of my resources that way. I mean, my iron is actually, my metal blocks is still not really hitting that much of an excess. Granted, I only have one smelter in this region. I have two in this and they've almost filled up the storage I've allowed them to put metal blocks in. Um, but yeah, I think I will continue to do maintenance, continue to blow out the charges that I've set and then let them finish this up, blow away this dam. And then I might call my iron Lords of the Beaver mountain or God darn it, man, keep messing that one up. My iron Lords of the Helix mountain. I might call them kind of finished at least, you know, at least for now. I don't think there'll be a demand from my commenters and my viewers to finish out Pinnacle. If there is, then please leave a comment saying, hey, finish out Pinnacle, you know, get back there, finish it up, do do something with it. Can't imagine people are going to actually comment that, but you know, uh, I think as soon as this gets done, blood it out. I do like that I've, you know, I've maintained a pretty strong shape here. Also the stairs help, you know, maybe if the stairs were a little more middle. It might uh, help sell the shape a little bit more, but it's, it's not bad. It's still pretty strong shape, you know? <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of another little time skip. More than likely, uh, we'll say at the end of the drought. Drought's coming up. End of the drought, they might finish this up, but we'll see. They might They might pick that up sooner. power is almost connected through kind of want to see how fast like these gravity batteries are going to shoot up hopefully it's pretty quickly you know how much juice is running through them pretty close pretty close getting there getting there getting there Ooh, just missing one just missing a little bit of a platform and then two logs for the turn come on boom connected this is now connected. So this should now be getting excess juice. Ah, it's actually not going up as quick as I thought it would. It's definitely going up, but just not, not spectacularly. Cool. Power's all connected through. This dam is fully enclosed, so I should be able to break it apart. Oh, I, I connected this stream, uh, this floodgate to this stream gauge. So this should now be a little 
pocket of water that'll store up and kind of keep refilling this uh this area with water when i'm in drought and bad tight seasons now for the big show going to start getting rid of this section of my dam big expansion to my dam And could I keep this? Ah, that's probably fine. It's giving me access to all this stuff up here. But I can get rid of this guy. There we go. Huge expansion to the dam. To the uh, strongly shaped dam. You know. Um, but yeah. Let's let a temperate season come through. And just kind of go through everything. So this is my, my little mining town. You know, Old West mining town full of bots. It's, it's little district crossing. My power routing from this series. Oh, let me actually detonate this. Drop ended. A little flood of water comes through. I wanted to finish off this little, uh, to complete this little wheel of uh, water wheels little section of water wheels um but you know it's connected through this little pipe network into this giant battery tower which definitely has way more room to at least currently has only room to kind of push back but at any point i can kind of turn these this very similar angle to this and kind of build out sideways if i wanted to i have my pumpers in my reservoir my giant little stack of food getting me up to 14k food there's definitely room to grow i could definitely put in more stuff to store more stuff my giant towers of wood and planks i have my bot parts my little factory zone right here my fun zone my little factory zone you know i have my secondary village over here definitely with the nice little population collapse as i uh call it a day here let's get that guy going too let's see if i think I put this at the lowest priority this is low if i put that at mid okay but my nice little rusty backwaters you know it was reliable it gave me my extra canola gave me my extra wood tried to give him a decent little living out here some nice little rooftop terraces my bad water tower of power love it love the design completely inefficient and completely completely uh nonsensical but you know it is what it is my little bell with my cafe zone and my um you know sodas soda sopa you know my little residence in the in the front of the uh the bad water tower then my little you know top of the mountain little locations for my forestry some residents have their little campfires, their exercise area, you know, their coffee, some more uh, oaks, more of a little forestry. When I was in kind of dire need of forestry, the base plans of Pinnacle, you know, Pinnacle will, you know, it'll be if people want it to be. But for right now, I think I'm pretty good with calling it. Uh, let me blow that out and get the final little water wheel to complete this guy yeah and then my absurd little bridge my little corner bridge where are you guys at slowly charging cool yeah you know i like what i've done here it's fun it's interesting it's definitely like i don't know i don't i don't feel like i do anything that's like super well i was gonna say super out of the ordinary as i stare at my you know tower <laughs> but hopefully i i you know hopefully i'm providing you guys enough entertainment with the way i build and how i go about handling my my little beavers but yeah that should be the end of this episode and potentially more than likely the end of 
the Iron Lords of the Helix Mountain. The next one is going to be using the newly updated. So the next series is going to be the, the newly updated uh, Thousand Islands map. Um, with more than likely, I think I'm going to go with Folk Tales. And I'm going to do a race to the robots. So, well, maybe I, maybe I do Iron Teeth. It feels a little more thematic for the Iron Teeth to go with two robots. Um, I don't know. This was this playthrough was Iron Teeth. I might as well just go with Folktale. I'll go Folktales to race to robots to completely have a robot society as quick as I can. And then after that, that series, because I feel like that'll be pretty short before I um, decide to call that one done, that little run done. After that will be, like I said before, small map on hard mode. Um, the race of the iron bot or the race of the bots won't be hard. Um, I just kind of want to do a get as fast as possible to just pure bot society. I had that in my head a little while ago and I just kind of want to do it. Um, okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can find a good thumbnail kind of captures captures what, what we've done here. I don't know how to go into that dev mode. I don't know how to get the camera to be more than it is, but it is, this is not bad. I get to see pinnacle. I get to see these battery power thing. My little smelting town over here, my battery tower over here, the main village backwaters, the big reservoir in the back here, my bad water tower. Yeah. Cool. This has been fun. It's been a nice run. See you guys on the next series. See you. Take care. Bye.